G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back with Max Hembest. Howdy, y'all. Uh, we're going to do the uh, weekly free instant tournament together again. Uh, next week I'm away in New Zealand, and Max is going to be covering a couple of the streams for me. So you'll get to see a bit more of him. Yeah, you've got to, uh, yeah. So Pete will send out an email of times. I won't be doing all of his regular streams, um, but he'll send out the times when I will be there. So And hopefully you come along and watch, and hopefully I'm as good as Pete. <laughs> Not so sure about that, but we'll see. Um, all right, let's get into it. Okay. So, nope. One. Almost. There we go. Okay. Um, so this is a uh, eight board match point uh, event. Last time we were leading it going into the last board where I talked Max into choking it. So let's <laughs> see if we can. Um, so this ends right for the strength of a no trump. However, it's like you've got five clubs and four spades. So we're always going to be able to open a club and then rebid one spade. So, I'm a clear one no trumper. Right. It's not even close. There's a one no try every day of the week for me. No, it's not. Like, you got really bad cards. Like, if anything, you want partner to play the contract because the lead coming around to your hand doesn't have a big, a big advantage. Um, if we, say, had, say, Jack, two of diamonds or something, then, like, the lead coming around and, like, queen, three of hearts, I think. It, I, don't, I don't think this is a club. I don't, I don't see the reason, but no trump on this. I got 15 points. I got a nearly balanced hand. Okay, whatever. Partner's passed, <laughs> so the chances of game were actually kind of low. So, I'm just... All right. Uh, one club. <laughs> See, look, partner bit of spade. We're going to find our spade fit. Um, oh, do you bid two spades? Do you oh, bid three, three spades? <laughs> Um, so the opponents have been raised diamonds. We've got doubles and diamonds. So to make game, I suppose we can make game off, say, ace queen to five spades, and that's it. Um, if partner has a doubleton club, so it would be losing two diamond tricks and one heart trick. If partner's got ace queen to five spades, we wouldn't lose any spades and we wouldn't lose any clubs. Well, clubs will set up hopefully as well. So I think this is a three spade bid. Yeah, it's way too good for two spades. In my it's good enough for a one no trump opening. That's for sure. All right. So, our partner's got a very good hand for us, so we're switching seats. Oh, okay, so our hand's the dummy, but we've... Okay, I get it. If I just made a very friendly lead here, um, of a spade. So my plan on this hand is just going to be to... Pretty much draw trumps and then set up the club suit. Yeah. I might cash one top club at some stage. Yeah, cash one top club, see if there's a singleton queen anywhere. So, I... Uh... I don't think clubs are five nil, so I'd even risk it. So at this stage, yep, I play a club to the ace and then spade over to the jack. Okay, yeah, we can. No trumps are drawn because um, we had a nine card fit. Not a second club for us now. Even if this loses, oh, okay, so clubs are broken badly. And we're just going to make 12 tricks from this stage. Rougher club, heart to the ace, throw a diamond away. Can see the heart trick. Yeah. Oh, no, undo. No. Oh. <laughs> I clicked the wrong card. That's a bit of a shame. Back to 11 tricks. <laughs> well done. And I'll let you in control of the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> we got 50%. <laughs> okay. Alright, so... A little slip of the mouse. Let's see what some other people did. Only two people managed to make uh, 12, 12 tricks. 12 tricks. It really wasn't that testing. Some people only made 10. Alright, so we would have scored up around... Oh, sorry. Four people made. We would have scored around 90% for making... That extra trick. That's okay. Well, slow start. Just challenge. Uh, challenge. Let's, let's see what everyone else opened. Find how many no trump bidders there okay. were. Okay. So, people who made 12 tricks will go off what they played because they're probably. Their card play suggests that they know how to play bridge quite well. So, <laughs> um, we have a club, a club. Oh, a no, no trump. trump. There we go. And a no trump. And a no trump. So, it's 50 50. Yeah. Yeah. So, and now let's look at how many people don't know how to play bridge and what they opened. One club. Ah, oh, people who don't, <laughs> don't know how to play bridge have clearly only made ten tricks. So one oh. no trump, one no trump, and one no trump. <laughs> That's a win there. Okay. What about three spade bid? And the three spade, uh, they opened a no trump as well. <laughs> no, no, wait, that's not their option. Oh, there it is. They opened a club. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so <laughs> it's about it's about half an hour. It's half. a mixture. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to the next board, probably. Uh, Nice balance 14 count. Yeah. This is probably a no trump for Pete as well. I would just open this diamond. Yeah, just a diamond opening. Part double, bit of no trump. Uh, I'm probably just inclined just to pass at no trump. We've got a balanced hand. Balance 14. Pass seems pretty normal. Um, was partner just 6 to 9? Yeah, 6 yeah. to 9. Yeah, pass. I feel like we might make 3 no trump though. I feel like the opponents have quite a lot of spades between them. So. We'll get a club lead. Oh. Ah, the old sneaky five card suit. Okay, so um, with this hand here, I would have definitely responded one spade, not one no trump. So you've got a nice five card major. You should definitely be mentioning that. Um, yeah, so playing a no trump could actually be a little bit challenging here. Um, on the club lead, we should probably play low, hoping, because we're only ever going to have one club stopper. That we just don't want to lose the ace, the king to the ace, for instance, and the opponents catch the queen and the jack. It's much more likely that the queen or the jack is one of the queen or the jack is in east hand as opposed to the ace. So play low. Yeah, definitely play low. Run around to the nine. West can't successfully continue here. Oh yeah. wow. Or our nine wins. That's another big shot. Um, there's no point cashing out the diamonds because we're always going to win four diamond tricks. We want to, and we've got one club trick. We want to try and establish more tricks. And I reckon spades probably isn't the spot. <laughs> <laughs> nice recovery. <laughs> Spades is no. no. So we want to play on hearts, even though the finesse is likely to fail. Yeah. Um, Heart to the jack. Yeah, so we're not going to leave the ten of hearts because East just covers it with the queen. So we're hoping that East has got the queen. But, but doubleton. Yeah, queen doubleton. No, they didn't. And a spade switch. This is the good thing about the north hands on the scene. Um, so we want to. We want the opponents to actually keep leading spades, so we'll, we'll try the queen, because that looks like we're taking a finesse that lost. And then a spade comes back. <laughs> this is scary defense right here. Okay, so, yep, there you go. This is the reason for not playing on spades <laughs> as well. They don't, they're going to think that the north... The defense will think that the north hand doesn't have a lot of spades. So I think I want to win the jack and then play a heart to the king, because if they... Uh, yeah. yeah. I was hoping east would follow. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, you still want to play a heart to the king. Yeah. So, um, we're actually, if the heart's over here, we're actually in danger that this hand could rise with the ace of hearts and play a club through our king, our king turn. So, um, that, that is doable, but we have seen East shot with the king of spades and also has to have something in clubs because the club nine won at trick one. Yeah. I don't really know what the club layout is, but. Yep. I know they've got something, so I'm fairly sure West has the Ace of Hearts. The other thing I'm thinking is that the Ace of Hearts is... Um, this. The West hands turned up with the Ace of Spades and um, the Queen of Hearts, and that's all so far. And if yep. they've just got the, the, um, the Ace of... If, if they don't have the Ace of Hearts, they're going to struggle to fill up their points for the takeout double. So we can probably play a heart up in safety. Yeah. In greed. Yeah. Hi, Karenina. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, so the Ace of Clubs is definitely with West. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm ducking that. Yeah, we're playing low here. Club. Oh god. <laughs> so this is what greed gets you. I definitely think it was worthwhile though. Both hands are high. So we're not off to a flying start here. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Forty-six percent. All anyway, right. Uh, let's check it out. Alright, I don't know why West ducked the first club with Ace Jack fourth. East had nine points. So, um, West, what was the club lead? So they played the eight in the hope that their partner had the nine of clubs. Um, so if their partner had the nine of clubs, the eight's going to force our queen. And um, if we've got the queen, and then they've got a, a clear finesse position over the next, over us next time. So that's why they ducked. Um, that being said, West has made a very aggressive takeout double with only only eleven points opposite a pass partner. So I, I wouldn't have doubled with the West hand, um, mainly because when partners passed, you know they've got less than twelve. It's not really likely your side's got game, so you can always balance later. That's that's I, I'd double the vulnerabilities, right? All right, so Pete would double, um, and when we played at a couple of tricks in, so playing a hard up's definitely right. 
and then the opponents have been suckered into playing spades. I don't think E should return the second spade because their partner made a takeout double. And if their partner had a five card spade suit, they probably would have overcalled one spade. Yeah. As opposed to making a takeout double. So this spade back here is very sloppy by the um the east hand. They could have like let a club through then and there, right? Yeah, they could and have we let... were just down. Yeah. yeah. So even though we got greedy, we were just returning back to what they were gonna yeah. get to. Now at this stage here we can make um eight tricks. Um so they played a spade. And yeah. So So if we play a heart here and West wins, we still only have eight tricks, but if they don't cash the Ace of Clubs, we've got nine. Maybe we should have cashed out. I like the idea of playing it. I don't... I don't... Uh, yeah, yeah, we probably should have cashed out, because West can see that the only tri other trick that they're going to get is the Ace of Clubs, because he knows that we've got another two spade winners, so we can throw away... Elgin. They don't know about the King of Diamonds, though. But the King of Diamonds will be on side. They know the King of Diamonds is on side if we, if we need the finesse. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, we probably shouldn't have done that, but... <laughs> we got greedy. Greedy. Nothing wrong with being greedy. Alright, so we've uh, misclicked and then got greedy. And we're still running at 48%. Let's see if we can improve on that. Okay, next hand. Can I go on tilt and open a no trump? Um, I actually, I would open this no trump because we've got three tens. <laughs> and you're on tilt. No, I'm not on tilt. <laughs> um, first seat favourable as well, so we're playing match points, opening a no trump really cuts out all of the, the one heart and the one spade over calls. Yeah, okay, don't look at me like that, Pete. <laughs> you'd open this hand a no trump as well. Yeah, I would, but you're on tilt. So, just going to open a no trump. And partner transfers to hearts, which is not what we wanted to hear, but... Okay. Um... Uh. <laughs> okay, so this, this hand I've done pretty... Poor. <laughs> Poorly, and so, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so if we opened a club, North would bid one spade, and we would bid two spades, and that's where they'd play. And how many tricks is two spades going to take? Um, so in two spades, I'll lose a diamonds, a club, and spades and hearts, depending on where the honours are. Yeah. So we need to make as many tricks as two spades. The robot might pass a club, though. Yeah, that's true. So I might go a club. And I feel like East will probably... Be well, I've got a nine-card diamond fit, so East is probably going to balance with something. So If that's a singleton spade, they might be able to make three diamonds. Yeah. Um, so it's important to make this contract, but we actually we probably want to make it with, say, as many tricks as a two-spade contract would make. So I think we want to take this finesse. Nah, the robots never lead away from us. I don't think that's swinging away from the king third spade. I reckon I've let a singleton. And that's our best entry to dummy. I'd win the ace and hook the heart. Okay, well, I'll go with Pete's gut feeling. Oh, okay. So they've let away from Jack third. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so we definitely want to draw trumps before they can get too many spade. We don't want them to get two spade drops. Yeah. So we should draw trumps and we should definitely take the finesse. So um, it's quite likely that East has long hearts considering they've only got a singleton spade. Drawing trump squads. What are your thoughts on a low spade to the nine? Um, not so good. It might sneak it past west, but east just roughs it, and I'm hoping that spades are 3 3. Hearts are 3 3. Hearts are 3 3, yeah. So I kind of like the idea now of um, just giving up a diamond. Yeah, or a club. Probably a diamond. Um, and I want to give up the diamond to the east hand because they can't. They they can't give their partner a rough in spades. We might get tapped out though. If hearts are 4 2. Yeah. We might get tapped out. I'm starting to like the low spade to the 9. I think we should play the 10 of spades, not the 9, not the low spade. Okay. Because okay. West saw the king and their partner might play the king from king queen. I don't know if the robots would consider that, but they can't really put the jack up if uh, their partner's got king queen doubled him. So that's why we're trying to sneak this trick here. Yeah. So, ten of spades. I actually think the hearts are 3-3, three, three, because the, cent the East played the 10 on the second round, and the cards that we're missing still are the Jack and the 9. So, if East had... East has got one spade because they played the Singleton King, and if they've only got two hearts, then they'd have 10x. 10, 10 Whereas if, if they've got more than... So you're saying we play a diamond, they do something, we rough a diamond, we draw a trump, 
Hope they're three three. We then knock out the spade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. are going so many off if they're not three three. But if they're not, we are. But at the same time, everyone else is playing in two spades, making a lot more tricks than we are. So I think, are they? I think we need to make more tricks because this hand here has got a singleton heart and presumably three. Um, a, well, I'm playing for them to have three hearts and a singleton spade, which means I've got nine cards in the minors. Oh, okay. Pull again. Oh, we might get to start again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no luck. Oh, well. Um, yeah, just close that. Close that. Oh. That's not closing. That. There we go. Okay. Alright, so you want it to go diamond, they win. Return something, we rough. We draw a trump. They then... No, we've just run out of trumps if we do that. We oh. actually have zero trumps without spades being set up. Alright, fine. We're with the spade option. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's important to unblock the queen here so that we can get back to the jack club. Um, so we can duck that. Yeah, no harm in ducking. Something good might happen. Maybe we had to play heart to the ace, queen of hearts out. Club. Not that I recommend that play, but... We're just going to lose one more trick here. We have yeah. to the diamonds. So we're down one. I really don't know why partner chose to transfer to hearts. I know in their system that they can't stamen and bid two major because that's invitational, but... <laughs> we still scored 50% for this movement. <laughs> Let's see what everyone's doing. I have no idea how we are scoring, scoring so well. Poor results. Everyone playing in three spades making more tricks than us. Um, people playing in hearts going two off, so everyone who opened a no trumps running into the same problem that we did. Let, let's see how they played it. Okay, so this hand here. We'll try with somebody else who went one off. No, that was us. This hand here, okay. So they got the same spade lead. They dropped that, played a heart to the queen. Looks like they're playing. Heart back. Low club. They win. Club. Yep. Alright, so the, the robots didn't actually tap them. But they didn't go for the trumps 3-3. Oh yeah, because they still can't do it. Yeah. You have to try and sneak the spade. Oh, they blocked spades. Ugh. Scary stuff. Alright. <laughs> and what did people that played in three spades open? One club. And then they just competed their way there. Yeah. So they Okay, we're not doing well here. <laughs> we still have time. Um, so, two heart preempt pass, three hearts. Um, I just think this is a clear pass. I think it's a pass. I wouldn't say clear. Surprised you didn't want to go for the penalty double. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How are we getting our tricks? So, chances of us beating this just went down a lot. Yeah, so West has. Wait, West has the King of Clubs and King of Diamonds. So, their hearts can't be very good. So, they can have the King of Hearts at most. That's all I've got there. Uh, that but bit... hearts are 2 2. So I think what we want to do is we want to try and arrange for partner to have a rough. Or for us to have a rough. Or for us to have a rough, but I don't know what suit would be roughing, because yeah. we could rough a club, maybe? What about thoughts of just ducking the diamond space? I'm not just saying do that, but... I think, it's, I think it's a very good idea, because if this is the singleton king of diamonds, um, we don't get our ace of diamonds. However, there's no convenient way for them to, say, get over to the, the east hand and then play another diamond, setting off the diamonds. So I think ducking is a good play. So if it's not a singleton king then ducking doesn't hurt. If it is a singleton king, they're in their hand and they have to do something. Yeah. So. Spade, part of the base. Robot's thinking for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and partner will play a club now. Yep. Diamond, we cover with the ace. They rough that. Spade. Spade. They throw their club away. We go up with the ace. Yeah, 
So we can play a diamond now, giving partner a trump battle. Ooh. Partner scores the queen of hearts, but that's it. Yeah. Um, could West have another club? No. No, because partner led the jack of clubs, and if they had... Um, no. Yeah, I, I reckon diamond. Yeah, if they had a if they had another club, they can play the the ten of diamonds and throw their club away, and force partner to rough with their natural with a with a trump. We are really playing for partner to have the queen of hearts, or else we're scoring zero percent on this board. Yeah. No, we can. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good partner. <laughs> Our ducking of the ace of diamonds came back to us. All right, how we go that round? 53%. Nice. We're on the improve. That's best board so far. What is rank 8 of 8 or 8 or 9? We're equal 8th or 9th. So right. Okay. We're currently in equal 8th or 9th position with four flat boards. Um, so yeah, they're always going to make an over trick. <laughs> yeah, they're cold. It, like, our defense was Midnight Fox. Hi, I didn't understand why it was right not to take the Diamond Ace. Could you explain that again, Max? Okay. So the the reason we didn't want to take the Ace of Diamonds um, was if this hand's got the Singleton King as they do, they win the King of Diamonds, but then there's no convenient way to get over the dummy to continue playing Diamonds. That means they have to break the Spade suit or maybe play a club to get over there. The fact that the Ace of Spades is on side is probably a reason why we probably, if we should take the Ace of Diamonds. Um, however, after we ducked, it, the trick did come back to us um, because uh, we managed to give partner a trump promotion in the diamond suit on the fourth round. So, if West happens to have King Doubleton Diamond, ducking it works a lot better. Yeah, because because then we can give partner a trump promotion straight away. We win the second diamond and we play um, anything. Really. <laughs> then we play another diamond back, and then partner can hopefully overrough whatever card Declare plays. And then if they can't over rough straight away, then we've always got the Ace of Hearts and then we can play another diamond making them. Yeah. On this actual hand, taking the Ace of Diamonds is probably right. Yeah. Because they've got the King of Spades as an entry. They don't know that that is an entry, but we know it will work. So taking the Ace of Diamonds is probably better on this hand. But on some other hands, if that dummy didn't have the King of Spades, ducking the Ace of Diamonds would be clear. Even though we give up our diamond trick, they still get to... Like, we're giving up one diamond trick and getting all the other tricks back. We get a heart trick back in return. Yeah. So. Anyway, what did other people do? Um, Why did we score 53% for that? Some people held it to 9. No one's doubling, really. Oh, some people are doubling. Somebody got to 3 spades, but went to... Yeah. How do you hold it to 9 tricks? You Let's probably, see. What probably I take the 8 of diamonds. Jack of clubs. King of diamonds, they win. Play a club. They ditch a club. Ah, then they just misguess hearts. Ah, uh, okay. So taking the ace was better. Throw a spade. Get yeah. hard up. Guess yeah. wrong. Yep. Okay, uh, moving on to the next hand. Okay. 14 points, nice five card suit. Vulnerable against knight. Max wants to open a club, but I'll open a no trump. All right, we'll go to the no trump. I would have opened a club, <laughs> yeah. Um, in third position, partner's unlikely to have enough points for game. So when I open a no trump, partner's going to bid game with, um, say, eight or nine points quite frequently. And um, 14 opposite eight or nine is not going to make a three no trump contract. Says you. <laughs> Says me, yeah. <laughs> oh. So partner's inviting us to game, so we def definitely... They don't. always have really heavy invites. <laughs> they have the world's heaviest invites you've ever seen. Oh. <laughs> so partner's, partner's showing nine points and we've only got 14, we can't accept. And if you insist, you watch this. Okay. So to make game on this hand, we're probably going to need the Queen of Hearts on side and the Queen of Clubs on side. And if, if that all does happen, we'll make a lot of tricks. Actually, we need either suit with the... Uh, if spades are 4-4, four, four, we need either suit coming in for five tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I am banning him from using the mouse. 
<laughs> he is not allowed to use the lasso. He just ducks tricks on it. He's like, I want to teach Pete a lesson for opening a no trump here. Okay, so we're definitely going to take this because I could switch back to spade. That'd be a bad idea. Um, so I think we're just going to take our finesses and hope it all works. <laughs> hope we don't go like five down now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. Okay. Um, so we can catch the heart to see if they're breaking, which I'm not expecting that they are. No. Okay, so now it's time to hope the clubs work. <laughs> that looks promising. Nope. Nope. Oh no, the leading spades. <laughs> um, gonna definitely throw away these hearts. Diamonds. We're not getting very many tricks. <laughs> well deserved zero for duck and that trick. <laughs> Two misclicks and eight boards. What are you doing? Do you want to use the mouse? <laughs> <laughs> I've got mouse responsibilities, don't worry. Okay. Uh, so let's just see. We're in two no trumps and what are we called for? Oh. Nine, nine or ten tricks. Thank you very much. Uh, for the leader spade. Like, we're not actually going to make it here because we're going to get the clubs wrong. Uh, you can play clubs by leading the jack and <laughs> taking a finesse that way, which isn't that realistic. So uh, someone was in two no trumps, and that was... Oh, wait, that was the top score. <laughs> that was when... Did they duck the first spade? I'm not sure. No, no they, didn't. they chose to win that one. I think that's the right play. Yeah, probably. Um... But three no trumps, you can just make it easy. Like put that jack of clubs on the table. Three no is not that far away with this hand. It's not that far away, but it's, it's still a long way. If spades have been 4-4, four, four, then you can handle both finesses working and the suit's not 3-3, three, three, or one of two suits breaking 3-3 three, three with the queen on site. That is actually getting up there towards a good game. It is, but... <laughs> If you have a spade stopper. If, if you have a spade stopper. When you don't have a spade stopper, it's a terrible. You get to. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to reach for the mouse, but, you know, he was like, oh, wait, no, I can't touch that. Anyway. <laughs> Next hand, this, this is... <laughs> Sorry, I was just... That was only mean five boards, and you misclicked twice. All right. This one's a clear one, no trump opening. We actually have 15 points. Yeah, 15 points. Nice balanced hand. All right. Uh, Stamen, no major. Three, no. Okay. Good. Uh, this looks like pretty cruisy nine tricks to me. Uh, five club tricks. They've let a heart, so we'll get two hearts, a spade, and we can force out a diamond. So I just want to win the queen and play a club over and a diamond up. Yep. Um, you could rattle off all the clubs first. I'm not sure if that's going to gain much. I like the idea of keeping the ace of clubs as a possible entry in case diamonds provide um, more than one trick. Yeah. Excuse me. Did you notice how I didn't put the queen on that one? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, got it. Yeah, you can win tricks. So. Um, a... Would you play the ten of diamonds or a low diamond? Um, well, I'm not planning on running the 10, so, and I've got the Ace of Clubs as an entry in my hand, so I'm quite happy to play a low diamond. It wins when there's stiff jack somewhere. We're going to yeah, that. yeah, but let's assume that I don't want to run it, but say I play Diamond to the King, and they play a heart back, am I going to cash the diamond straight away? No. Or would I run all the clubs? Run all the clubs. In which case, diamonds are blocked. Yeah, okay, play the 10. Um, now what I'd do is I'd run all the clubs and play another diamonds towards the queen and see what happens. Yeah. Because um, I think it's quite likely that the ace of diamonds is onside, although it's quite possibly offside. You've been watching the discards? Been watching them throw spades away. Uh, so that's a diamond pitch. So we've got one diamond pitch. There goes the jack. And we have the rest of the tricks. Thank you very much. Alright, this one will score as well. I think that's the influence of the 
I mean, you can try whatever else. else. Not ducking trick. Ah, uh, only 60%. Brutal. It wasn't, we didn't do anything special, to be honest. So, it's quite a common score, playing diamonds towards our hand twice. Yeah. Yeah. 12 tricks, anyway. It's on the improve. Key thing there is not putting the Queen of Hearts on trick one. Alright, I know what I'd open this one. One diamond? No. Pete's going to open two no trumps. That's what he wants to open. If you might have guessed, I would have opened no trumps on every single hand, basically. Um, 10, 19 points, 5 card suit. Uh, so I think it's worth 20 points. Also, this hand shape's close enough to being balanced. I won't be able to show it pretty much. Yeah, I actually agree with opening this one two no trumps. The reason being is that if we open a diamond, I'm expecting partner to bid one spade. Then over a spade, I'm going to reverse into two hearts. And now if we are going to play three no trumps, we've just told the opponent to lead clubs, um, which is um, not what we want led. So by opening two no trumps, we're not actually telling, we're not telling partner we have a club problem, we're not telling the opponents either. And considering we've actually got one club stopper, I'm quite happy. All right. So partner Stamen, we didn't find a fit, and we're in three noes. The leading clops. It's annoying. Um, I definitely want to win the first trick in our hand, because that keeps the king of clubs open as an entry to table. Yeah. That being said, it's <laughs> going to be hard to get to nine tricks. Uh, so we could possibly get two clubs, two diamonds, three spades, three spades two hearts. And that's assuming that they can't, uh... yeah. So I reckon like we need clubs four three so that they only get two club. Uh, they get two clubs and two hearts if they do that. And a spade. Um, so that's not gonna work. I reckon we could work on hearts. Yeah. So actually, to make this contract, I think we're actually gonna need the clubs to break five two, and we actually want to knock out the hard entry from our opponent's hand straight away. So <coughs> I'd actually, I want to get rid of, because apparently the, the hearts are the way the opponent's going to communicate between their hands. Um, by taking away that communication straight away, um, hopefully that we can we can isolate the club suit so that they can't get back to it. And we can always duck the second round of clubs. We can duck the first round of clubs. We could duck the first round of clubs. Yeah, ducking the first round of clubs would be okay. We'd probably have a hard entry. Mm. Yeah, okay, so say say we do duck the first round of clubs, and then we play a heart. We win the second round of clubs, and then we play a heart, and then they play another club, and then hopefully the clubs have either broken five, have broken five two, and the hand that wins the, the heart can't actually play a club back. So ducking a club's actually got a lot going for it. So yeah, duck a club. I don't know if that made sense to anyone else. But... I'm not sure it made sense to me. Um... I'm still trying to find where our nine tricks are because, like, if we get two hearts, two clubs, two diamonds, and a spade, that's only seven tricks. We're also going to need spades to go. On. We're also going to hope that the the king of spades is with the hand that doesn't have long clubs. We could hope that diamonds are three three and get four diamonds, two clubs, two spades. Everything's coming up eight tricks here. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm just going to go on my path. I'll duck a club. Watch them switch. Switching is okay. I'm happy for them to switch to it. Anyway. There we go. So, um... <laughs> Yay, they switched to my five card suit and I still don't know what to do. Yeah, so I reckon winning the ace of diamonds is probably correct and then just getting those hearts started. Because um... Um, when E switches to the three of diamonds, I think that they're going to have the, the long diamonds. In which case, we, we, we can take a spade finesse through the east hand, and if it loses to west, we, east can't get back on lead. That being said, we might not be able to get back to dummy at that stage either. So. Alright. I kind of wanted to duck it. So, Jack 10 9 I'm missing. Anyway, uh. Yep, start working on the hearts. So we can actually win that and hopefully the jack drops. Hopefully, but I'm not, I'm not expecting it to. Oh, okay. So now we can actually just lose a diamond to East. 
Although we don't need to do that now. We can try and knock out a heart. They can't attack anything, right? Yeah, we can knock out the heart. I don't want East to switch the spade. Yeah. I'm, I'm afraid that you're going to leave the Queen hearts out if it holds the trick, we're in trouble. Okay, that's interesting. Forward to throw away. Leave anything. It doesn't matter. We've got the rest of the tricks. We've even got the beer card. We've got multi. Oh. <laughs> Just me. I'm happy as well. I think I need a new mouse. <laughs> to the mouse as well. Yeah. Um, let's see what other people did. We were making that at some point. Yeah, a lot of other people are making it, so I'm guessing they took a similar line to us. This hand opened a diamond club. <laughs> club opening's a bit strange. Um, they probably just don't want clubs led, so that's one reason. Diamonds, diamonds. Tino. Okay, we'll go through this hand because they opened the same tuna that we went through, that we did. A little club, they won the ace. And they can play a heart like we did, and they got the diamond switch. And they played another heart. And then they got the same diamond continuation. It looks like they just played the diamonds 3 3. They didn't even take the spade finesse. Oh wait, that was into the danger hand. Yeah. So it wouldn't take the spade finesse in case it lost. But anyway, they still made their contract, which is the important thing. <laughs> well, they they played their queen of spades underneath the king as well. How about play the spades straight up? You mean? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. So. If we play on spades, we can't actually get over... We don't want to win the first trick with the king of clubs, because then after that it's going to be really hard to get back to um, dummy after that. So if you are going to win the first um, club, you'd win it with the ace. And then you'd play the ace and the queen of spades, surrendering to the king. And then you'd have two spade, uh, three spade tricks, sorry. Um, currently haven't won any heart tricks yet. You'd have two diamonds and two clubs, which is only seven. So then you'd still need to um, either get some diamond tricks or some heart tricks to go with that. Or the other way of thinking it is you'll have uh, two club losers, two heart losers, and a spade loser. Yeah. Now, as it is, clubs are 5-2, hearts are 5-1, and I think it would actually work on this hand because they can't get to the west hand to, to cash out all their winners. But uh, most of the time I think I'd be down playing ace of spades, queen of spades. Um, um, so... The other way of thinking about it is that um, the spade suit is going to... We're always going to win the ace of spades and we'll generate... By playing ace, queen of spades, we're always going to generate two additional spade tricks. We can generate those same additional two tricks in the heart suit because we don't have any heart tricks right now. And um, at the same time, we're not losing an additional trick by losing that. We're always planning on losing the ace and the king of hearts. But if we play on spades, we're going to lose the ace and the king of hearts as well as the king of spades. So that's why I wouldn't, wouldn't play on spades. I'd be tr more interested in getting the hearts going. Alright, lucky last. Alright, we'll try and click on the right things now. Um, 13 points. I think this is a pretty clear pass. I, yeah, I think it's a pass as well. The last time I saw the robots preempt, it was pretty solid. Yeah. Um, I still think this is a pass, even if we know partner's going to have a solid preempt. Really? That, <laughs> I think playing with any normal person, I'd pass. But yeah, I reckon we're just going to make like 11 tricks. <laughs> when, when not? We're not. They have a 7-4 shape, and they have a void club with a Dalton heart, with ace-queen to seven spades, Dalton heart, four small diamonds, void club. Void, yeah. Um, if the auction goes one diamond past one spade, and the opponents enter with two hearts, what do you think is the right bid there? This is on the last hand, I'm guessing? Yeah. Uh, so, um, so, I'm gonna switch back over. so as some people were doing, uh, 
on the tables. Right, um, on this auction here, for instance, that the opponents have had, uh, we've opened a diamond, partner with a spade, and with two hearts. Um, you've got two choices. You can bid three no trumps, which is what this hand did, or your other option is you can pass and um, hope that partner reopens with a double and then pass it, pass out the double for penalties. Um, I think both options... You could are... also bid two no trumps. That would be 18-19. Yeah, you could bid two no trumps and 18-19 balanced. Um, I kind of just like the idea of bidding um, three no trumps, though, so the hearts are slow. You don't want to go for them? No, I don't want to go for them. So, um... <laughs> Reason being is that playing in... Um, Do you have a temperature? <laughs> you don't want to double. <laughs> we could, you, you could try and double them. Um, if you pass and try and um, trap them, though, there's a chance the partner won't reopen, which is, um, which is... If partner doesn't reopen, you've definitely got a bad board. So bidding three no trumps will always lead to like a reasonable board. Depends on your type of partner. If you're in a partnership that always reopens with a double... I'd be open to passing this and collecting some huge number out of it. Yeah. Um, on this hand, partner will probably pass, though, and that's not actually a bad thing, because three no trumps is a terrible spot. Um, bidding two no trumps here is also just 18-19 balance, but I think you're too good for that, because, as shown, I wanted to open two no trumps to start with. Yeah. Uh, but if you didn't have a two no trump opening, and your hand was, like, a little bit worse... You could bid two no trumps here because you wouldn't ever bid two no trumps with 12 to 14 balance here. That's just not what you do because that partner's only got six points. You might only have 18 points between you and yep. all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah. So um, as it turns turns out, defending two hearts, even undoubled, is, because three no trumps is such a terrible contract, is actually probably would should probably lead to a good score. Um, however, as you can see, most people are making three no trumps because of the friendly lie of the cards. And um, not ducking the king of spades. And not the king of spades, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> it did. Okay. Right, we, we decided pass, but watch uh, Dummy. It's, I've got the seven four. Oh! Seven triple two solid spades. So partner's got an exceptionally good hand for us um, here, which is interesting. Um, it is easy. You win ace, you run all your spades, and play west. Yep. <laughs> what? So, um, we've got... I was just thinking we win the ace of clubs, draw trumps, and then lead the ten of diamonds out. And um, if east doesn't cover, then the opponents would have to cash out in the right order. Yeah, or you could get greedy and end play west. How are we end playing west? West has all the points. So you run everything, yeah, so all seven spades. Yep. They have to keep king x of diamonds. Yep. They have all the top clubs. So they got ace king of hearts, king of clubs, and the king of diamonds. And that's how you could end play them. That's a that's a lot to play for. Either way, so um, either way, we both agree that winning the <laughs> ace of clubs and playing um, a bunch of spades is the at least six of them. At least six of them is the f best correct is the f is the correct move. So. Um, Okay. Spades weren't 4 0. That was nice. And so this hand turned up with two spades, so that probably means that they're um, balanced, is my guess. Yep. Got one diamond pitch and a heart pitch. I think we can afford to throw away another club. Yep. Three Both. diamond pitches now. Yep. Um, we can probably afford another club still. Yeah. And a heart. That's a fourth diamond pitch. King of clubs. King of clubs. Okay. okay. Who do you think's got the king of diamonds? Um, the West hand's probably got the king of diamonds. And if West has the king of diamonds, what should you do? If West has the king of diamonds, we can try and end play them. But because we've no longer got a heart stopper anymore, we can't. That's fine. You exit a club. West wins. So you want to cash a spade and then exit a club. It's an idea. It's an idea. It's a, like all-in play. Finessing the ten of diamonds could easily work, but the only reason that would work is if East had six diamonds and West had a singleton. Yeah. Do you think that's what's going on? No. No. All right. So let's back our 
Now play. All right, well, I'll go with you. So you want to cash this? Yeah. Now consider our options. Yeah. And um, it looks like Wester started with um, King Queen Jack of Clubs. Yeah. Um, if I've got the King of Diamonds, um, they don't actually need to have the Ace and the King of Hearts for their opening bid. Ace could easily have either the Ace or the King of Hearts. In which case, you should cash the Ace. Yeah. You talked yourself out of taking the safe finesse. Okay, well, we'll go with this. We'll go with no, 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 that's fine. All right, fine, do it. All right, <laughs> gotta be greedy. Okay, so that's the eight. Throw, Throw a diamond. King of hearts. Heart. Okay, that's not good. Good news, this M still has a diamond. <laughs> yeah, and the S was offside. King was offside, so it really didn't matter in the end. <laughs> But was more scary. Oh. Anyway, that's it from the weekly free instant tournament. We finished in 12th on a healthy 42%. We beat three people. <laughs> um, yeah, so we scored 71% for that. And um, let's just bring up all our scores so you can have a good laugh at them. Give me a sec. So there was the uh, first board where we misclicked, misclicked <laughs> and lost an over trick. The second board we got greedy and didn't want to uh, take out eight tricks. Third board. Uh, we opened a no trump and partner chose to transfer us to hearts rather than spades or anything else. So that just That's just like weird system from them. Um, in, that, in all honesty though, like this hand could arguably open the club, but it's probably strong enough to open. I can't see it. Oh, okay. You can't see the hand. Um, yeah. Then the third board here, um, we could have defended a little bit. We could have made the defense a little bit tougher for them. We didn't. Port five, we misclicked. More misclicking. Six, we finally um we finally had a good one. We played we played a content. We did nothing bad on this hand, I think we got this one right. Um seven, there was more misclicking. <laughs> and eight we also we got that one right. Alright, that was our very poor attempt at the weekly free instant tournament. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna leave Pete to it and I'm heading off, but um have a good day all and I might catch you for some streams next week. Alright. I'll be right back shortly. See ya.